so here I am. I made it to Breckenridge, Colorado, and today I'm about to do something. Uh, this is a new one. I'm about to take a ride on the the Breck the Breck Connect gondola. It takes you from down here to all the way up there. So I'm looking forward to this. Looking forward to the ride. Looking forward to the views. We're about 10,000 uh, altitude here, so breathing is uh, a little bit uh, laborious, 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 yeah. But anyway, looking forward to this. I'm gonna record it, so come along. Oh, is this scary? Nope, not. Is it fast? Yeah. Slow? It depends on the right there. Yeah, it takes you to the top of peak eight, and there's things to do up there as well, is that right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool, I'm gonna check it out. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day. There's two stops before you get to Peak 8. And I definitely want to go to Peak 8. I believe at the top of Peak 8 there's maybe a hotel, some restaurants. Ugh, this 10,000 foot elevation. Whew, breathing. Um, I think there is an amusement park, although it might not be open, but I just want to get up there! Let's go! Whoa! This is crazy! Check this out! Check out this view! The other one's passing me by on their way down. <sighs> Get to my reflection. This little gondola, it does kind of rock a little bit, so if that is troublesome to you, um, keep that in mind. <laughs> It's not bad though, it's just rocking a little bit. I don't know, you can kind of see it maybe if I zoom out. You can kind of see it rocking. But it's not bad. And I'm kind of a wimp, so <laughs> if I say it's not bad, it's not bad. ride by the way if I did not mention this there's you don't need a ticket to ride the gun gondola at least not at this time of the year I don't know if it's different during ski season but right now it's a free ride to the top of Peak 8 this is a uh, July we are here in July one of the stops and we're just gonna keep going all right we are leaving the first stop on our way to the next to get to the top of that peak. It's a really nice ride. I'm enjoying it. I think the takeoffs are the roughest part when it leaves the station. Things are really kind of rocking then and then it kind of it kind of calms down. What a view. <laughs> I was really looking forward to this. This is so cool. You can see behind me there as we are ascending to the top of the gate. <laughs> so cool! I love it! You don't need to be a skier to ride the gondola. Oh! 
Well, we've stopped at Peak 7 now, so our next stop is our final destination, Peak 8, here at the, uh, the Breck Gondola. Alright, we're about to leave this station and head to our final stop. And this is when it gets the bumpiest. Hold on! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> it's still pretty cool. Bumpy or not. Just got off the ride and now we are on the top of P gate. I think that is a hotel up here. Let's go check it out. A lot of people out. It's a beautiful day. There's the little bungee jumping area <laughs> for the kiddos. Ah, maybe even the grown-ups, I'm not sure. It's a tavern over there. <clears throat> so they were just telling me that you can take the ski lift. Obviously it's not ski season, but it takes you even higher up to an elevation of 11,000 feet <laughs> where you have incredible views of the Rockies. So I'm uh, I'm trying to work up the courage to do that. <laughs> well, I don't know where I found the courage, but I got a ticket and I'm gonna go ride the super Colorado super chair all the way to the top. 11,000 elevation. Woo! Come along if you dare. Okay, here we go. Can't believe I'm doing this. Can I get on the super lift to the top? All right, gotta stop filming. All right, I'm doing it. Ah, here we go. Actually, this isn't so bad. The other one was a little bit bumpier at uh, takeoff and landing. This is actually kind of just, uh, you just sort of feel like you're floating in air. So this is very cool. And when you get to the top, there should be some amazing views. Yay! I was a little nervous at first. There were some instructions you had to follow uh, at takeoff. <laughs> and if you didn't follow them right, you could like injure yourself. So this is great. Okay, I'm just gonna enjoy the ride. curious the tickets to ride this are $30 so the first ride to get up to PK was free this ride is $30 at least right now in July I have to say that the time I've been here the people in Colorado are super friendly super friendly so props to Colorado people uh oh <laughs> Now we've stopped, but it feels okay. 
It's okay. I've only actually gone skiing one time in my life and it was kind of it turned into a disaster. I went to a ski resort, I want to say it was in Wisconsin, um, with a group a long time ago. And spent the morning, you know, I'd never been skiing, so spent the morning on the bunny slope. Got the hang of that, that was fun. And then in the afternoon I felt we were ready to go to a, the real hill, the beginner hill, not you know, not the bunny slope, but the beginner hill to do real skiing. And I don't recall if we got on the wrong lift or if we missed an exit or what, but um, we ended up on a very advanced hill for very experienced skiers. I was not ready for that. I could not ski that. I ended up pretty much, whoa, don't want to drop my phone. Um, I ended up pretty much like sitting on my butt, <laughs> inching my way down the mountain because there was just no way. I was not ready for that. And I said never, ever again. And that was the end of my skiing <laughs> experience. Oh dear. to the top. This is incredible. That is a, uh, a rock climbing wall that we saw. There's lots of trails up here if you wanted to go hiking. Go check out some of these views. So you can go biking. backside of it and here's a challenge course you can take up here at the top <laughs> wow. this is a uh, if that's your kind of thing this is pretty cool <laughs>
So this is kind of cool because it is talking about the strength of a beaver, his jaw, and how they use their strong jaws to chew through the wood of the trees. Can you chomp like a beaver? And then over here, they have this little thing. Beaver bite strength. Beavers have strong muscles. Uh, beaver's bite is twice the strength of yours. So if you press down on this, it's supposed to show you the strength it takes to press down on this is comparable to the strength of a beaver's jaw. <laughs> Can I do it? Probably not. Well, <laughs> I can move a little, but yeah, that is uh, that is no joke. I still can't get over these views. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. And look at this way up here. <laughs> very, very tippy top. There's a house. I think it's a house. It looks like a house. Could you imagine living up there? Woo! All of this is in your front yard or backyard. Crazy. Just crazy. In a good way. In a good way. It's getting windy. So for comparison purposes, on this side you can see the strength of a human bite. Press down on the bar to feel the power of a human jaw. <laughs> okay, I might have to use my arms. I can't even move this one. I wonder if it's... That, that doesn't seem right. The beaver jaw should definitely be stronger. I was able to move the beaver one, but I can't move this one. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but that's still a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool exhibit. up here but it's probably time to start working our way back down to the top of peak eight we work our way sorry there is very little oxygen at uh, an altitude of 11,000 plus feet uh, work our way back down to the lift little map giving you well a map of all of the slopes and the trails and the bike paths here peak eight starting where we got off the um the brett connect gondola there's that rock climbing wall the challenge course the overlook and the hiking trail take it easy at first <laughs> Plan short trips until you're acclimated. Stay hydrated. I do need to go get some water. <clears throat> oh, part of the White River National Forest. Be aware of the possibility of running into wildlife. Interesting. I did see a black squirrel run by. That was kind of cool. But that was it.
I love the What do you think of this place? <laughs> oh, really? You're sticking your nose in my camera? Oh, he's beautiful. Are you a good girl or boy? Good boy. Good boy? You look appropriate up here. <laughs> Thank you. Checking out the bungee jumpers over here. That is pretty cool. I had to go get myself some H2O to hydrate at this elevation. It's important to stay, it's important to stay hydrated. Breckenridge is a very dog friendly space. <laughs> so cute! Right, time to go back down the gondola ride down. And I did confirm it is pronounced gondola, so I should have gone with my first instinct. Here we go! I guess you could actually drive up here as well. You could see the road will take you up here. You don't have to take the gondola up here. You want to come to the top of Peak 8. But it sure is fun and it's free. <laughs> At least right now it is. I can't believe I was all the way at the top of that um, here in Breckenridge. But now it's time for my normal habitat. My normal habitat, cute little main streets, cute little historic districts with all kinds of shops and restaurants and bars and wine bars. So off I go. There's this really cute, really cute tree here on Main Street. It looks like people carve their initials in it. Little hearts. sure what kind of tree it is but very cute right here on Main Street <music>
the Breckenridge Boutique Hotel, home for the night. Just, oh, I don't know, half a mile up the road from Main Street. This is the main lobby. No fireplace. Up there are stairs to Suite 9. Desk. And then there's a really cool, well, you could take the stairs, or you can take this really cool elevator. It's really old fashioned. So, I click down to have it come down. It's a platform lift, an oldie but a goodie. It's, it's a trip. You can hear it coming down from the second floor. It only goes to the second floor. And then you have to take the stairs from the second floor to the third floor. It's here. Okay, so now we open the door and you have this, <laughs> so cool. And you open this door, there's your platform lift elevator. You get inside. Close this door, outer door, and then you have to close this door. And then you press up. <laughs> How cool is this? I've never seen anything like this. You can see it moving. Normally you don't see um, when you're in an elevator. You don't see what you're seeing here. Definitely a new experience. All right, so now it's gonna stop. And we're gonna open the door to get out and close it behind so the next person can uh, access it. Otherwise, if you don't close it, it doesn't work. So let's do that. Let's close this. And close this. And then this is the sitting area on the second floor. Skis, in case you forgot yours. Is it walking trail? Path to the hot tub. <laughs> Cute. Here's a little kitchen area, an ice machine. Toaster, a couple necessities, a little dining area with some water, another fireplace, a nice huge deck. Overlooking the entrance to the hotel. Oh, it's so beautiful. mountain backdrop oh. so this is my room it's very nice very cozy feels very homey it does not feel hotel-ish I am having major issues breathing at this altitude so forgive my sound I'm just trying to take it slow and drink water but uh, this is the room, and uh, this is my view. It's up here, you know, in the mountains, in the mountain. It's so pretty. Nice little bathroom. It's just very, very homey, very comfortable, which uh, is kind of comforting in, its, in itself. Um, since I uh, do not seem to be handling the altitude very well. <sighs> a little bit of uh, altitude sickness, I guess. Um, and here's my private deck. A nice view of the mountainside. 
in the greenery. And down there are a couple hot tubs. Anyway, this is the Breck Boutique Hotel. This is uh, suite number two, if you like it and you uh, ever want to stay here. I think this is so cute. Let me show you something. Okay, close the door. The um, sink. You know, it's not in the bathroom. It's outside in the room. And it's this lovely kind of old-fashioned antique-looking sink. I love it. So, that's it. We still have a fridge and a microwave. Oh, popcorn. <laughs> They give you popcorn and coffee. Nice. Lots of, lots of nice touches. I really like it. I'm really happy I chose this place. So this is Main Street in Breckenridge, Colorado. It's a very popular tourist destination. For sure. When I was here yesterday, this place was just packed. So it's really nice to be out here at uh, 7 in the morning when people are still asleep. Main Street, Breckenridge. Main Street in Breckenridge, Colorado. This is what it looks like. Early in the morning when it's not too crowded yet. Lots of really cute, quaint buildings, restaurants, ice cream parlors, shops, souvenir shops, clothing shops, jewelry shops, anything you want. It uh, goes on for several blocks. It is really, really nice. Definitely a place you can spend uh, more than a full day. You could probably spend a good weekend here. So I'm just gonna go out here and enjoy one more cup of coffee on this beautiful deck before it's time to leave Breckenridge. What a way to start the day. Look at that view. Buongiorno. Really enjoyed my stay here. Do you enjoy mountain views? Or skiing. Uh, that would not be me. Uh, <laughs> this is a good place to come. Lots of good food. I've had some really good meals in uh, Colorado, I have to say. Listen how peaceful it is. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little brief tour of Breckenridge. Um, really enjoyed my stay here. It's a lovely town. The people are so nice, I have to say. Everywhere I've been in Colorado, the people have been so, so nice. I will definitely return. So, thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.